Good afternoon, board members. My name is Bernardino Lucian Villasenor, senior at the University of Texas studying Mexican American Studies and Eagle Scout from Troop 132. I'm here, to I'm here today to testify in favor of recommendations by Commissioner Robert Scott and against the materials submitted by international databases. In Kitzmiller versus Dover, a federal court ruled it is unconstitutional to teach intelligent design as an alternative to evolution in a public school science classroom. I strongly urge you to vote against adopting these materials because they promote intelligent design, which is not a science. In the Origin of Life module, the author references the Miller-Urry experiment to set up an either-or argument at the end of the unit, claiming that because the experiment failed to prove certain mechanisms of the building blocks of life, it proves the author's null hypothesis in which the absence of evidence of the origin of life lead to an intelligent designer. The non-biological processes that were being observed in that experiment are only one of many routes in which organic life could have evolved on this planet. Sources such as hydrothermal vents, meteorites, and comets could have also produced organic molecules. In the Cambrian explosion module, the author references the rapid appearance of phyla that occurred around 530 million years ago in the fossil record and claims that the only way to attribute this rapid appearance, that this rapid appearance is with the use of an intelligent designer. It appears the author is not aware of the theory of punctuated equilibrium, which states most species will exhibit little net evolutionary change in most of their geological lifetime. And when significant change does occur, it is in rare and geologically rapid events, such as the Cambrian explosion. Punctuated equilibrium is a refinement to Darwin's theory of evolution and has been discussed in the scientific community for well over 30 years. These are only a few problems with the materials provided by international databases. The point is, when you let intelligent design into the classroom, you're not just attacking evolutionary biology, but also the, sci the sciences of cosmology, astronomy, physics, chemistry, geology, paleontology, and paleoanthropology. Because as soon as we attribute phenomenon to supernatural causes, natural laws and inference about how nature works become void. Ergo, all science becomes meaningless. 